So I picked up this very clean 55 inch 2019 Samsung LCD LED smart TV the other day from the side of the road. The sign on it said, dead. There's not a mark on this TV. There's no dust on it, no fingerprints, no scratches, so good candidate for repair. Unfortunately, I did not have one of these with me. So let's see what what's really wrong with this TV. It's worse than dead. The screen is cracked. And I would say the impact point is right here. Right here. Now, how come we can't see that from the outside? There's no, this is perfectly smooth. It looks like I'm looking in a mirror right now. There's not a mark on the face of this screen yet. It's clearly cracked. And so the crystal is smashed and that's why you have no display here. And why you get these lines. So how come we can't feel it or see it? This is all smooth because these LCDs are so fragile that when you push on it, the back of the screen flexes. And of course that expands and that's where the crack is. The crack is going to be on the back of the screen. You can't see it from the front. Now, I guess the lesson should be here is that when you're picking up a TV, might be a good idea to have one of these. Don't leave home without it. Let's see how that's going to work. So I've disconnected power from the power strip back there and I've connected it into this portable power pack. Now I know that you've been told that you can't run electronics off of these inverters, but that's not true. The TV is marked 65 watts we can see from this front panel display, it's drawing 70 watts. It runs fine, and that power pack will actually run this display for hours. So it, had I had that with me, I could have quickly plugged this in by the side of the road and seen that the TV was unrepairable, because you cannot get new displays. Now, regarding my statement that the LCD is cracked on the back, I'm going to take this apart and we'll examine the back of the display to look at the crack that you can't see from the front. Well, at least I got some good legs for next time. Very often you'll get these TVs and there's no legs on them because they were wall mounted. Okay, I've got the front bezel off and I can lift the screen now. Normally you'd use two hands on this. I've got one hand on the camera, so let's see how we do. I lift this up carefully. And it's going to act like a mirror. Hopefully we can see this. And there's our crack right here along the bottom. Clearly visible now from the back side. So the moral of this video is that if you have a TV and these are the symptoms, it's not repairable. Hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.